Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and great news, time to cover yet another audio tool. So the standard disclaimer applies, your ears may be bleeding by the time we are done here, but to be honest, MIDI news, this is what we're covering today, it makes it so that I actually sound pretty good sometimes. So I may actually make something that musically sounds good. So what exactly is a MIDI news? Well, this is a brand new program literally shipped uh, right about the time this video launches. I got an early access key from the developer to check this one out. Uh, it is launching today. This is for creating a sequence of notes. It basically acts as a virtual MIDI keyboard. So if you have your own keyboard, what you do is generate uh, notes in MIDI. MIDI is a, a universal interchange format from the last like 30 plus years. Uh, and every DAW can recognize MIDI signals and turn it into a sequence of notes. So you can uh, normally like on a keyboard, you could play the drums or a guitar or so on. It is the way people create digital music. And this creates those notes using algorithmic sequences. And it's really simple and straightforward. If you're interested, it is launching again today on Steam. I believe it is $25 USD. Uh, hopefully it is up right now. And without further ado, let us jump in and start the ear bleeding. So this here is MIDI news. And it is really quite simple to work with. It's a grid of notes. Each one of these grids represents a beat. So the, the distance between them uh, determines how much time elapses between the particular notes. You got a simple set of tools going on here. These can be controlled by the one, two, and three keys, by the way. And this is basically um, the placement the, sorry, the selection, placement, and pathing tools. You also have full undo and redo support. And let's start by placing a note. So everything starts somewhere. You're gonna notice this note has uh, kind of a square wrapped around it. This is the entry point for your song. Uh, you see here, you can turn what channel something influences on and off. We'll get to channels in just a second. You also have the ability to snap to the grid point. So if you wanna have um, notes in between, you can do so, by the way. Uh, but for this one, I'm gonna to stick to the snapping. So the distance, the farther a note travels, the more space in between that note being played. And let's start with the simplest example I could do. So I'm gonna do first note, second note. I'm gonna come here to the pathing tool and I'm gonna connect them together. We'll go ahead and play this and nothing. Okay, that is because this is sending out MIDI signals. But what you could do is turn on the internal synthesizer and actually have it play a beep. So let's go ahead. There you go. So we can go here to options and we can pick how a note plays. So we can do, um, we can pick the, uh, the particular note that is played. So here we can switch this down to, uh, a th what is that? Uh, octave and then note, I, my, term, my note terminology is awful, but let's go ahead and play that. All right. So there you're getting slightly different songs. Now I told you earlier on the distance also corresponds to the amount of time between notes. Although you can change how the individual note plays in terms of uh, the velocity of it, the number of times it repeats, the scale that it plays on and so on. Uh, but well, mind you, I'm showing you relative changes. Up here you can do that. Or you can change the note relative to the previous note. So for example, I could come in here, add one more note like so, and we'll path that guy in like so. And then you will see if I go ahead and select it, uh, I could change the note up so I could come up here and say, okay, and this will make a note that is 12 higher than the previous note in the sequence, like so. So now I'll go ahead and I create another note. So let's put a bit of a pause there so you can see how the distance affects things. So let's just drop that one in there. So you see how that makes a difference. Now you can actually start getting into some really kind of uh, cool pathing effects. So if I select the note again, I can press, by the way, you can switch between these one, two, and three, because you're gonna do that a lot. So I'm gonna press the one key, select it over here. And you're gonna notice I also have some options for how the note uh, handles. So I can have it go uh, down a different path each way. So by the way, the tool tip is down here. So this first one uh, was sent round robin. This one will send it, uh, sent for every outgoing path for a point. So basically it'll branch. This one will choose one random based off the weighted probability. Um, and then finally, this one here will uh, instantaneously propagate to the next point. So you can control how notes are sent. So I could say here, let's do um, create another two notes here. Let's do one there, one there. We will select this note and we will do this one as a random. So let's do random and then we'll connect out to these two notes like so and like so. So if I play this, it's gonna randomly go. All right, my randomness isn't as random as I was expecting. So for this, what we need to do is set the path weighting. So you see, I can actually select 
the, uh, the pathing here and you're gonna notice we have a number of different connect options. So here I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna set that weight to five and I'm gonna set this one, I'm gonna set the weight to five. It should be 50-50 weighting. I'll go mm -hmm. ahead, we go that way. So you see how each play, it goes, okay, this is like losing 15 coin flips in a row. There you go. So you saw it goes in whichever direction based off of the particular weighting. And I think the original problem when I was showcasing this is a one weight and a one weight should have actually been 50-50 to go each path. I think I was just losing the coin flip every single time. And then you can also even really do, if you wanted to, we could create a loop like so. And then we'll just connect this guy to here, to here. Now you're noticing because the path goes this direction, it will only do the loop if it goes that way. But if it goes the other way, it doesn't do the loop. So you can start making these really intricate paths of music. And now what you'll notice here is everything here, if I go down here, we'll go channel. Everything here is channel one. So now let's get into the MIDI side of things. In order to do that, we need to have a DAW. Uh, I do not have one running, so let's run Mixcraft 9. Now, at this point in time, you could use Cakewalk, you could use uh, FL Studio, you could use Reaper, LMMS, you name it, it'll work for you. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create two musical instrument tracks, and we are good to go. So we're every, right now, it's being sent as a MIDI channel. So let's just, come on, create, go, go, go. Um, so this is gonna get fed into here as MIDI. Uh, MIDI is pretty universally supported by DAW. This hooks up to your computer just as if you had uh, plugged in a keyboard at this point in time. So here you see, I have an acoustic piano set up. I'm gonna go ahead and arm it, and we're gonna set it to channel one. So now we go back to here and we turn off the internal synthesizer, and this is gonna pass through now to my DAW. So here you can see how you could start creating uh, music, uh, you know, real music of real notes. So let's go back here to our first note here. We're going to change it to the, uh, be careful, don't use this one. And we're going to start a second sequence of notes. So I'm gonna come down here and let's do one here, one here, and one here, and uh, select them. And these are all going to be channel two. And I'm gonna, I'll do a random sequence of notes. So here, channel two, and this one will be, um, I don't know, 45. And then finally channel two again, and this will be 65. And then let's uh, connect all those up like so. And by the way, you can also go backwards so we could replay that one particular note. And you could even at any particular time you can connect to uh, another sequence like so. So let's see what this does. So now we have a second instrument in play and you're gonna find it doesn't actually do anything because we don't have anything hooked up on. So we got all of our channel one notes are playing, uh, but our channel two isn't actually doing anything. So we're gonna switch on back over here and we're gonna hook something up on channel two. So let's pick an instrument. Uh, let's do a VST. All right, so let's go pick up, uh, let's do, Drum sessions. Where are you, strum sessions? All right, so this is, oops, I missed. All right, let's do that anyways. I, I did promise you some ear bleeding, so let's use a synth instead. All right, so here we go. Um, that should be hooked up. Make sure I set that up onto channel two, which I did. Okay, and now, let's see. There you go. And that is, in a nutshell, MIDI news. Now, this version, what you're seeing here is kind of a very, very simple example. You're gonna notice over here, you have control over the entire, like the way the entire thing works. So for example, we could change the tempo of the entire song up here. Uh, you can change the scale. Uh, again, you can change the number of grid units per beat. So that, I think, made it slower no that will make it faster i think so this is all about the distance so once again move something closer it plays faster and that's kind of the idea so you basically you do these network of notes you set paths up between them you've got fine-tuned control over how the paths are set up you can do path weighting again you can see the weights that are available right here uh, you have uh, multiple channels you can send out that you can then hook up to your DAW on the other end and this kind of 
takes away the tedium of having to play on a musical keyboard. Now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the built-ins. So we got we got a number of different songs that kind of came with it. Um, let's just pick one. Uh, Fractal. All right. So, so open this one up. Yep. There goes my project. So here you can see a slightly more complicated song. There's a number of these particular samples, by the way. And if you uh, you check on them, they normally have uh, details. So it should actually be a description of what's going on here. But let's go ahead and play this. There you go. Now this song is all played entirely on channel one. Again, I can switch to the internal synth and get like so, or I can turn the internal synth off. And let's go over here and change from acoustic. So this is the one that's hooked up on channel one, by the way. And let's change that to cymbals. So we're gonna do all hi-hats. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Synth is turned off. There you go. So this is showing you uh, some of the, the different options you've got in terms of how, how things can be strung together. I'll go back over here, so let's do uh, let's do clocks. All right. And here you see another sequence. Uh, I'll channel one again, so it should work with my symbols. So you see how you can create these networks with slightly different speeds going on, different results. And you can use, again, you can create some really interesting tracks. And you get, again, some of these, I, I forget the exact names, but a few of these had really uh, interesting is this one? No, they're all pretty straightforward. Okay, so this one's gonna be. But you can see how uh, MIDI noose can be used. Uh, it's it's a very interesting program. Uh, again, grid-based non-linear MIDI, MIDI sequencing. Uh, MIDI is a universal format. Pretty much, if your DAW does not support MIDI, your DAW is not a DAW. Uh, and I, I found it just turnkey. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't really have to do any configuration. Uh, the only thing that you're generally going to find is you're going to want to watch launch MIDI news first before you launch your DAW. That way the device, the virtual device is actually detected. And again, this one should be coming online uh, about the time I publish this video. So if you do wanna go ahead and check it out, brand new program, uh, it just works. I I'm impressed with it. It's, it's a fun thing to play around with. It, it is a different way uh, to compose music. And again, if, if you do not have the ability to type or if you wanna do more algorithmic or probability-based music production, that is pretty much what MIDI news um, kind of shines at. So this guy, okay, so here we go. Let's turn off, let's just show channel. And also this is all channels, single channel again. Why is this not doing probabilities on this one? Oh, it is. So there you see, you can, you can do some really interesting uh, effects. The program itself is as simple as it gets to use. Basically, again, you're just sort of dropping between. Do remember, again, one, two, and three to switch between the modes. Uh, select mode, you can pick things up over here. Here, you're in creation or place mode, and that's how you can easily put things in. And then you've got the ability to connect them together. And again, remember, paths go in multiple directions, and you can create networks super, super easily. And the distance between nodes is um, important to the, uh, uh, the, the, the pace that they'll be played at. So if you wanna have a pause, that is one very simple way to uh, have the pacing of your music set, just based off the distance of things in the grid. So mini news, that is it. It's an interesting program for sure, a different approach to creating music. I'm curious if there's other software out there. Again, music, the music world isn't really my realm. It's something I like to play with and I like to cover it on the channel. Uh, but I'd be interested, is there other software out there like this? Uh, if so, what do you recommend? And will you be checking out Mini News? Again, it goes live today on Steam. I'd be curious to hear what you think. And I'll, so you can check out their uh, website. is available at MidiNews, M-I-D-I-N-O-U-S dot com. Um, yeah, so that is it. That is Midi News uh, launching today on Steam. Curious to hear what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later and goodbye.